Hello dear students today we are discussing about pilot plant scale up techniques in disperse system so in which definition objectives steps in scale up general consideration gmp consideration advantages disadvantages scale up for disperse system or liquid dosage forms and con contract manufacturing then references the definition <coughs> of that first of all plant means what it is the place where the five m's like money material man method and machine are brought together for the manufacturing of products so it is an a proper utilization of this five m's will give a, a good quality product then what is mean by pilot plant it is a part of pharmaceutical industry where a lab scale formula is transformed into a viable product by development of a liable and a practical procedure of a manufacture so this is important for our today's discussion what is mean by pilot plant so it is the part of pharmaceutical industry where lab scale formula is transformed into a viable product by development of liable and practical procedure for a manufacture then what is that scale up it is an art for designing of a prototype using the data obtained from the pilot plant model and that can be exhibit or that can be transformed into the large scale so this scale up is nothing but or uh, that pilot plant is one of the linkage between r and d and uh, production those are the ideas which is generated at r and d department we have to implement into that pilot plan and then we have to enlarge that size at large manufacturing area or in that production so what are that objectives of pilot plan the we have to find mistakes on small scale and make profit on a large scale so to avoid the wastage to avoid the waste of time material money we have to find out that mistakes on small scale and it is easy to find out on the small scale and we have to make a profit on large scale means avoid a wastage on a large scale so what are that objectives to produce physically and chemically stable therapeutic dosage forms then review of a processing equipments then guideline for uh, productions and processing control then evaluation and validation for a process and equipments to identify the critical features of the process to provide a master manufacturing formula then to try the process on a model of a proposed plant before committing the large sum of money on a production unit then examination of the formula to determine its ability uh, with stand to batch scale and process modification and to avoid the scale up problems for this purpose you have to use a scale up or that pilot plant technology what are the significance of pilot plant the importance of pilot plant <coughs> is for examination of formulae then review of range of reload processing equipments then production rate adjustment idea about physical space which is required for actual manufacturing then appropriate record and report to support the gmp as per schedule m then identification of critical features in maintain the quality so these are the important or highlighted points how to maintain a quality on a large scale that we have to find out in into the pilot plant then that pilot plant can be used for evaluating the result for laboratory studies then product and process corrections then sensory chemical microbiological evaluations shelf life and stability studies and designing and construction of a full size plant for modifying existing plant i once again repeat what is the pilot plant used for or why it is used for evaluation of result on the laboratory scale then product and process corrections then sensory chemical and microbiological evaluations and shelf life and stability studies then the design and construction of full size plant modifying into the existing plant what are the steps involved in scale up the steps like the defined product economic is based on 
the projected market size and competitive selling and a provider guidance for allowable manufacturing cost. Then conduct a laboratory studies and scale up planning at the same time. Next is that define the key rate controlling steps in the proposed process how to achieve quality. Then conduct primarily larger than a laboratory studies with the equipment to be used for rate controlling steps in a plant design that is, that is happen in the pilot plant. After that design a construct pilot plant including provision for process and environmental control, cleaning and sensitizing system, packaging and waste handling system and meeting regulatory agencies requirement. After that finally evaluate the pilot plant results including process economics to make any corrections and design on whether or not to proceed with the full scale plant development. Then what is the need? Why conduct a pilot plant studies? A pilot plant allows investigation of a product and a process on intermediate scale before large amount of money are committed to full scale production. So we have to have a planning how to design our formula and how to avoid the problems or the mistakes on the large scale that we have to identify on a small scale. So it will be helpful to manage the production of our planning into the large scale. Then it is usually not possible to predict the effect of many uh, many fold increases in the scale. It is not possible to design large scale processing plant from laboratory data alone with any degree of success. Hence there is a need of a designing of a pilot plant or studies of a pilot plant. And that pilot plant can be used for evaluating the results of laboratory studies and making product and process corrections and uh, improvements. Then producing small quantities of product for sensory chemical microbiological evaluations that is limited market testing or furnishing samples to potential customers, shelf life and storage stability studies. Then providing the data that can be used in marketing, uh, sorry, making a decision on whether not to proceed on for full scale production process and the case of a positive decision, designing and constructing a full size plant or modifying an existing plant. Then general consideration or group responsibilities. What is that reporting responsibilities? First, in that research and development group with a separate uh, staffing and the formulator who developed the product can take into the production and can provide a support even after transition into a production has been completed. Then what are that personal requirement? Here we are discussing about what? Uh, reporting per, uh, responsibility. Then second is personal requirement. Those are the scientists within that R&D with experience in pilot plant operation as well as in actual production area are the most preferable person because they are a skill and trained person as they have understand the intent of the formulator as well as understand the perspective, uh, perspective of a production personnel. Then the group uh, uh, should have some personnel with the engineering knowledge as well as scale up also involves the engineering principles because the size of those are the equipments we are using for this purpose this kind of knowledge is required and knowledge of computers and electronics is also required. Third thing is that space requirements and that space requirements we can say that the administration and information processing physical testing area standard equipment floor space and storage area what is the requirement of space area because of arrangement of different types of facilities like administration and information processing then physical testing area we require quality control uh, requirement then standard equipment in floor space is required for the equipments and the last is the storage area what is that administration and information process the adequate office and desk space should be provided for both scientist and technician. Uh, the space should be adjacent to working area. Physical testing should be provide a permanent uh, bench top space for routinely used physical testing equipment. The standard uh, pilot plant equipment floor space. There should be a space where the equipment needed for manufacturing all types of dosage form which is located. Intermediate size and full scale production equipment is essential in evaluating effect of scale up of research formulation and processes then should be made for portable where ever possible so that after use it can be stored in the small store room and that should be the uh, space should be required for cleaning storage area it should have an two areas divided as an approved and unapproved area for active ingredients as well as an 
excipients so different area should provided for the storage of the process materials finished bulk products from the pilot plant and materials from the experimental scale up batches uh, made in the production storage area for the packaging material should also be provided the review of formula through a review of each aspects of formulation is important the purpose of each ingredient and contribution to the final product manufactured on a small scale laboratory equipment should be understood then the effect of scale up using equipment that may be subject the product to stresses of different types and degree can more readily predicted or recognized for the evaluation then raw material one purpose or responsibility of pilot plant is the approval and validation of the active ingredient and excipient that is the raw materials why because raw material used in a small scale production cannot necessarily to be representative for the large scale production so ingredient may change the particle size shape or morphology which result in differences in bulk density static charges rate of solubility flow properties and color etc those are the equipments we are using the most of economical and simplest efficient equipment which are capable of producing product within the proposed specification are used the size of the equipment should be such that the experimental trials run should be relevant to the production size batches if the equipment is too small to process develop will not be scale up because of the size which is required at large scale it is more where whereas if equipment is too big then the wastage of the expensive active ingredient means we have to select an optimum size of equipments easy to cleaning and it should be uh, time of cleaning then production rates the immediate as well as the future market trends requirements are considered while determining the production rates then process evaluation these are the parameters we have to apply for process evaluation in pilot plant like uh, those are the order of mixing of component then mix order of mixing of component mixing speeds mixing time rate of addition of granulating agent or solvent solutions of drug substances or whatever may be the ingredients will be there then heating cooling rates then filters size in case of liquids then screen in case of solids drying temperature so these are the parameters we have to apply in pilot plant what to carry the process out uh, carry out the process evaluation because the knowledge of the effects of various process parameter as few mentioned above from the basis for process optimization and for the validation the purpose of process validation is to confirm that the selected manufacturing procedure procedure assure the quality of the product at various critical stages in the process and in finished form then master manufacturing procedure the three important aspects that is weight sheet processing directions and manufacturing procedures the master manufacturing processes which includes these three types of uh, specifications then transfer of analytical method to quality assurance during the scale up of a new product the analytic test method developed in research must be transferred to the quality assurance department then early in the transfer process the quality assurance staff should review the process to make sure that the proper analytic instrument is available and that personnel and trained to perform the test then product stability and uniformity the primary objective of the pilot plant is the physical as well as chemical stability of the product hence each pilot batch representing the final formulation and manufacturing procedure should be studied for the stability stability studies should be carried out in a finish pack uh, in the finish packaging uh, packages as well these are the gmp consideration like equipment qualification process validation regulatory schedule preventive maintenance regulatory process review and revalidation relevant return standard operating procedure the use of competent technically qualified personnel adequate provision for training personnel then a well defined technology transfer system a validated cleaning procedure and orderly arrangement of equipment so as to ease material flow and prevent a cross contamination these are some advantages member of production and quality control division can readily observe scale prints supplies of excipient and drug cleared by the quality control division can drawn from the more species and provided to the uh, the division and access the engineering department disadvantage frequently direct interaction of formulator 
with the personal can be